students welcome to Mesa study today we are going to discuss a very important reaction that is known as the diazotization reaction again very important from your exam point of view many of the reactions related reactions such as Sandmeyer and Gatterman there are so many reactions Bell's Schumann reaction is there which are again related to diazotization first so the first step being the formation of a very very important diazo compound let's see what it is so first one is BDC is formed in this particular reaction you have to remember. So what is BDC? BDC is nothing but the benzene diazonium chloride. Diazonium chloride. So this is particular thing which is formed in the diazotization, right? So my main aim is to produce the BDC then further get it converted into various kinds of products. So it's a very very versatile reagent which gives us a lot of substituted arenes, right? Also always, always remember that it is prepared from aniline, right? What are the conditions used in the diazotization? Let's see. So BDC is nothing but we'll see right here you see this compound this is known as BDC benzene diazonium chloride and since it has been prepared from the aniline how does it go about so basically I have taken is HNO2 written in HONO form right so this HNO2 in the presence of HCl what happens first of all so basically by the attack of H positive ion on this nitrous acid we get is the production of what is the intermediate produced here is nitrosonium ion this is known as the nitrosonium ion which then further attacks to the lone pair which is available with the nitrogen and somehow there has been a rearrangement which goes into the reaction and also please note that this reaction happens in a very very at a very very low temperature 0 to 5 degrees Celsius if you see right so in some of the books the temperature might have been written in degree Celsius always remember so we finally get after the, all the rearrangements are done and everything because uh, this BDC is a highly resonance stabilized product so this is formed in the diazotization process this is all about what we wanted to discuss here and also after this once this is formed it is a, a versatile again as I've told you versatile reagent to go about with various reactions one of the very important reactions is Sandmeyer in this case right and this particular reaction you can refer to my other video where I've explained some related reactions also related to the Sandmeyer where you can get an idea all about it. Have a nice day.